Hey all, uh, welcome back to Railroader. Uh, it's me, Connor, the producer of Railroader, and I'm joined here by... Edmo. Hello, it's me. It's Matt. Again. Yes. <laughs> Matt. Yes. Because yeah. um, Lord knows I'll never remember Medmo during this entire stream. Uh, we'll be seeing Adam probably a little bit later. Uh, we'll probably have to hang up this call and then switch over to a different call when he becomes available. Um, Matt, where are we today? Uh, so, we left yesterday on the King's Colony. Today, we are on my save that I've been playing on, that has been redone recently. So this is the North Springs and Western. Uh, pretty much everything you've seen here, in fact, all of it now in here, was done in single player. So all of the locos that you'll see around have been bought um, through the company mode. Uh, all, the wa all the various cars that are owned by the railroad all bought so it's uh it just sort of shows what you can do after i think this is now day 18 in game now so it's you know a couple of weeks in game into into it so yeah yep okay well cool well uh awesome uh well we're here with you guys until we uh Go for a uh, release here in a little while. Uh, what about an hour and hour and change? Uh, yeah, it'll be, it's an hour and twenty-two minutes. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna fuss around with Matt's game, and uh, yeah, all right. So the uh, Whittier interchange has been served. It's uh, six a.m. So we've got a what was it? 42 cars have turned up, but the interchange is at capacity, so there's going to be more later to uh, oh, to arrive. Yeah. So let me just quickly oh, yeah. change that. Alrighty, so I see a bunch of stuff we can get away with today. Uh, let's see here. Bryson cars, Ella cars. Uh, I think uh, the Alarka cars, will, I guess, will come in the next cut. So uh, There are some Alarka cars, it. yeah. There's Robinson Gap cars, which go that direction. So, All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and pop around, get, in, get into something. And uh, what do we got here? We got a... Uh... I'm not going to fit through this door, am I? Uh, deck pod here. There goes a logging engine. What else do I got here? I'm gonna say it. Let what's his face play with the, the decapod because that's uh, that's his baby. <laughs> uh, the decapod's the the big mover between the interchange and anywhere. So yeah. What new look? What new? <laughs> Forty plus cars. Yeah. Um, I've had I think the the on my previous save at one point where I was uh, I haven't bought a silver next. That's the next. Uh, thing that's on the cards but in total i counted it when the interchange was being served and at one point i had 95 cars arrive during the day just for the in in the interchange so yeah you can get some seriously high car numbers even quite early on in the game so caboose doesn't have a a purpose at the moment hex so you can run without it it's something that we're looking at the best way to sort of implement like um some some sort of po like feature around that but we'll we'll see how uh see how things go right i'll use the i'll take i'll drag off the uh sawmill cars and go and deal with that mm -hmm. um if you want to take whatever else because i think yeah so there's all there's the four bryson freight house cars that are for um the ctc upgrade Oh, okay. So we'll be able to turn on, uh, ship some cars for a milestone. Yes. Uh, so cool. if you should have a look at the milestones that are currently. So there's there's three in progress. So there's the last stage of the Fontana Lake Bridge, which I think is here. Is that here right now? Not no, it looks. Seeing it. I think that's going to come in the next cut then. Oh, jeez. Um, and then there's the Bryce. There's a. I think there's a a wagon to be here. Or car, sorry. Sorry, Britishness. Oh, yeah, there's the East Whittier diesel stand in this cut as well. So I'll take... So, um, that's just behind the stencil car. So... 
let's uh, bring that off. I'll take them off. Uh, do do and do do. So put them on. What else do we got back here? So we got the Stenzo cars, Diesel stand, Ella. Person, 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 person. Simple caboose answer, removability to sleep anywhere, and requirement to sleep on the under caboose at one of the first facilities. You know, that's a, that's, put that in, if you're on the Discord, put that in the suggestions when that opens up, because that sounds interesting. We'll see if it can, we'll have a look in, but. My poor old little, uh, thing. G, G, the G25, yeah. I mean, I like this engine. Um, oh, it's a lovely little. It's it's quite a a, a good workhorse. So. so passenger train is there. So I'll get the AI on the move towards. Is it Ella Ela? What's the correct pronunciation? Because I've probably been butchering it consistently. Uh, I would just say Ella. That's at least my own uh, my own choice, so to speak. Um, mm. it's not really here nor there. So that's gonna... Yep, so that's now... Passenger train's on its way, so that's good. Have I left myself enough room here? Uh, you've left me enough room, I can tell you that. Yeah, if you... Uh, so, yeah, because I might have to do a bit of finagling around here. What day are you on? So I'm on this save day 18 uh, on this save. So you can uh, get up. And I think I've been sat at this sort of expansion for a good couple of days, as it were. So um, most of the... Let me have a look. I believe pretty much all of the industries except the ones for Alarka are at tier 5 the ones at Alarka are at tier 3 so they're still getting a decent number of cars at them so right this is going to be uh, funky <laughs> uh, sorry not I got really quiet thought... there I got quiet there for a couple minutes I was dealing with some uh, work issues that came up um i'm gonna take i think i think i'm just gonna take literally everything with me yeah, you might as well i reckon you could probably you could probably get to bryson with that um, if you need a bit more power there is a a large pacific at bryson at the moment okay i will remember uh, that and there's a C25 and the T17's up there as well. Oh, and there's the S23 switcher as well that works the price and yards. So. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, he's had a we... Oh, there we go. Sorry. Oh, no, yeah, he, he, hopefully later. He's got a few IRL work bits to uh, sort out, but uh, hopefully he will be. Nah, get out of my chair. You bastard. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm gonna switch around here, I think. Alright, so what's this car for stencil? So if I take six Oh man, this is oh, this is gonna be a little bit messy. All right. Um, I mean, you could always take the decker pod. That that'll that'll haul whatever you need there. Oh no, it's not about uh, hauling anything. It's about um, servicing. Uh, just getting these cars cut up and separated correctly. You um, if you cut yeah, if you cut them off, the rest of the wittier cars, I'll deal with them while I'm using the logging mic to switch around here, sir. So. Yeah, totally. I just got to, um, yeah, I just got to, uh, do something. Brain fart. Uh, cut a car off that's on this train that I currently have. I got a car for the Whittier, uh, diesel stand on my, uh, cut. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Uh, Blake W, dumb question, and no dumb questions here. Um, can the AI make station stops on its own? We want to put that in. That is definitely a feature we've been looking at for a little bit. So it doesn't right now, but we hope to get it in in the future. Are you hearing me all right, by the way, uh, Matt? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, cool. I was just doing the angle cocks on here. Uh, what a muddle pitch. Mud puddle fishing, if you have a look on the Steam page, that's the minimum specs that we've been able to test against. We're not saying that that's the minimum specs of the um, game, but if you mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. have a have a few, like, um, if, you, if you do pick it up and it doesn't run, you can, of course, use the Steam, Steam's refund policy for that, so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right, how am I going to do this? I know I'm going to do this. <laughs> Have I messed this up? <laughs> Probably. Oh, no, we've just done it. Yeah, there we go. What did you do? Uh, 12, 12 cars, there we go. Oh, nice. <sighs> uh, regarding the release, um, it is going to be at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It's an hour and 15-ish minutes from now. As far as we're, it's it's yeah, 1900 GMT GWR6029, so it, it should be in about an hour and 12 minutes um that's what steam has told us steam makes the does rules. do some strange things for, but you know that's uh that's from what we understand so i know this wasn't a thing really can you hook two tenders together no unfortunately the tenders are just a part of their engines for the time being we can't swap them we can't detach them um that is something that has definitely been floated and talked about a few times. Um, and we'll have to see what the future holds there. Uh, yes, I can mute it. I apologize that I had not. Uh, there we go. It should be better. Uh, GWR, Steam Achievements. Yes, there are uh, desires to get that in the game. Just none right now. What, are you just going to leave your body there the whole, uh, you know? Oh, where is my body? Oh. <laughs> there he races away. Whack goes into the conveyor. <laughs> I've hit my head. <laughs> You've hit your head. All right, let's get in. There we go. Pop off, switch positions. All right. Jade Heart, different sound sets. We hope to get them in, yeah. Um, Preserver 209, if you want to do that, you'll be able to go to our Discord and offer some suggestions for um, uh, rolling stock. You can feel free to put them there with whatever post you make. Uh, New Jersey Rail Fan, change headlight placements. That type of customization is not currently in the game. Uh, it's, again, one of those... Uh, future, we would hope to do it items, but I can't make any promises there. What are these cars for again? Stenzel, that's right. King Magic Shadow, how hard is this slip with the wheels? Right now, wheel slip is in the game, but it's more of like a... Um, uh, it's not environmentally... Like, the environment doesn't impact wheel slip right now because we don't have those kind of um, systems yet in-game. We hope to get them in eventually down the road. Uh, so the real way to slip the wheels is with very heavy trains and engines that are struggling to pull them. So if you accelerate too fast, that kind of thing. Um, there, is the, there is one specific loco that is very prone to um, wheel spin. Um that I cannot talk about at the moment. Um, but yeah. 
Maximum uh, size of a session is, yep. um, we we believe it's 32, but we've not been able We're, to test it fully to that. So. I actually just got, uh, I was talking with Adam today about it. Um, ah. We're recommending 16 players max for the time being. Um, that's our recommendation. Um, price of the game, 30 USD, uh, $30 United States uh, denomination. I, that's actually not what USD stands for, but whatever, you know. Actually, what does USD stand for? It's not, I've never United States to, uh... dollar. Oh, duh, of course. <laughs> God, I've gone stupid. Um, it's already too early in the stream, and I've gone dumb. Uh, Bryson, 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 Bryson. Okay, so I'm going to pull this forward. Uh... Regarding for you guys asking about Heist's review, I've not watched it yet. Matt has not watched it yet. Um, we plan to watch it probably sometime after the release. Um, I heard there was some very good... Um, there was some review in it and stuff like that, and that uh, it'll definitely be stuff we'll take into feedback and stuff like that when we uh, uh, start looking at what everybody says in their reviews and stuff like that. It shouldn't be too far down the road that we start really looking into that stuff. Right now, our focus is uh, getting the game out the door and finishing some last-minute stuff and junk like that. And a number of the uh, and a number of the models are. Um, as we've said previously, placeholders. There are a lot of them are getting revisions behind the scenes. Um, Elijah and his team are working on that, but of course, with uh, having full-time jobs, it's uh, mm -hmm, keeping mm -hmm. on top of it. So. Yeah, being uh, we have a bunch of conductors. Some of the modelers are conductors. Some are um, uh, engineers. I think there's a dispatcher, a trackman. I actually, I'd have, you know what, don't quote me on any of that. I know Elijah for sure works for a railroad as a conductor, so um, I would have to uh, say that's about the only one I can say for sure definitively that I know that's what he does. And so that eats a lot of his time, uh, considering for some of you who may or may not be in the industry as well. Yep, little Joe working on buildings. Yep, for sure. Are you out of the way yet? Uh, I will get out of the way. Okay. So that you can disappear past when uh, you've picked everything up. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, soldiers. When? Soon. When? This afternoon. Totally right. Sean, yeah, I hear you, but um, I uh, I haven't watched it yet, so I'm not going to offer an opinion on it. Neither will Matt, because I know he hasn't watched it either. I've I've not had time personally today to uh, to to watch uh, that, so um, it will be looked up at it. So you know, and as I say, like as I've said previously, any um. Ooh. Any feedback or anything is always welcome, just because, to say it's it's the first iteration in early access. So. Yep, exactly. Uh, do you guys think the influx of stuff from this release will help finish things for 1.0? Yeah, I mean, all the support will help. Um, we definitely wanted to go into EA for a couple of reasons, so we didn't disappoint you guys by trying to delay the game again. But also that, I think we're a big believer in, like... Um, What's the word I'm looking for here? Like, if you guys give us money, right, you should get something in return. Like, I would argue our philosophy on that is, like, pretty, like, simple, right? Like, I feel like if, if we're going to ask, you know, to, hey, support us with XYZ, you should get something from us for that XYZ. Oh, there's one car back there that's... Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! I'm dumb. Um... <laughs> I How connected to the, I connected to this car, and I went, "Huh, oh, that's weird. My thing only increased by one car length. That's kind of odd." And I yeah, looked. It's got a slight gap. I stepped back, <laughs> and it. Oh, there's a huge gap between these two cars. <laughs> <laughs> 
I what were you? You just said something. I interrupted you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sure. The map on this is expanded from Whittier uh, up to the Alaka branch. Uh, I'm just finishing off the uh, next stage to go further west, but I am also at the same time um, saving up for the expansion like to the east, as it were, to Silver. So. Ah, sure, of course. As I said before, Gamos, the, the, the models are being worked on in the background. Uh, yeah, it'll take to time. Be, to be updated, so. It'll take time. Yep. Um, somebody just asked a question I was going to answer. Where'd it go? Uh, is the map location functional? I'm not certain what you mean by location functional, but you'll have to... Um... It's, it's, uh, it's fictional, not functional. Oh, fictional, fictional. No, it's based on a real-life railroad and area, so it actually is a, like, a legitimate place. The track is kind of, is definitely, like, uh, unique for us, but we try to hold very true to, the, like, the location and where the track goes and stuff like that and uh, junk like that. Uh, GWR, any more planned whistles at the minute? Uh, I don't know of any, but it's certainly possible we'll get more. Uh, the when is more than... It's more when than if there are going to be more. Um, thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. Uh, KFC Gaming, is this narrow gauge or standard gauge? This is standard gauge, this railroad. We are not a narrow gauge operation. Um... The whole game is standard gauge, I mean. So many cars to fit in here. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, North Jersey Rail fan. There is at least one that has not been showed off. The current phrase I think I like to use is some couple few. Yeah, so uh, what junior exhaust timing. Yes, we do want pretty much everything that's in the game right now is always going to be look will be looked at again, will be digested again. We will take feedback from everybody. Um, it's just a matter of when, you know. Uh, Dakota plays. Will this map ever have snow? I can't really specify what weather we may or may not have. Um, the There's a bunch of weather options. Actually, here, I'll do you the favor. W-E, can I T-H-E-R? Yeah, so like, there's a bunch of weather choices in here right now. Um, oop, I already did this. Um, I've heard about Shift T breaking the game. Nice try. I know what you're, I know what you're playing. Um, Binox, any high priority fixes or features coming in the near future you are aware of? Um, I know we're supposed to look into like what we're going to do next and stuff here soonish, but I don't off the top of my head. I don't know. I'd have to go look at our, uh, internal, internal stuff for it's that. As we said uh, yesterday, and in the, um, as we're having a message one in the Discord, there is uh, plans that in the next sort of week or two there will be a roadmap going up um, that we'll try and work on just to give you guys a sort of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. see what to show what the the priorities are with that. Uh, yep, exactly. The release time is exactly fifty nine minutes from now. There you go. Ooh, I accidentally braked this thing way too early, and it's unhappy about it. <laughs> little shove. Come on. Little shove. Come on, baby. There we go. Put myself in the car here. Hop into my other view. Uh, 
Uh, Link Wolf, can you punch people in the game? No, this is not a Grand Theft Auto, unfortunately. You have to wait for Grand Theft Auto 6 for that one. Well, it's only an hour until shift T. <laughs> that's right. Is that right. what most of you that's are waiting right. for? Yeah, shift that's what they're all hour. here for, just the shift T. <laughs> Oh, you are. We'll get we'll get to the uh, we'll get to, we'll get to that point, and I suppose I'll have to probably take out a loan and purchase the favorite engine. Oh no! Oh. Uh, you're doing a very nice job there with that switching job uh, there at the song. It was, yeah. It was. Um, I realized when I dragged them out, I was like, I'm not going to be able to get oh, away. Oh, you with know what you've gone and done? Oh, man. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, Matt. I was busy watching this lovely train pull out, and I discovered that you left a switch line for the uh, so for the logs lead. Oh, sorry, sorry, uh... sorry. Uh, if we started the save using a smaller 60 mile main line, would we be able to extend its length in the same save, or would we have to load a larger map to travel further? So the entire game is unlockable from, um, the, excuse me, not the entire game, the entire map is unlockable from, uh, this milestones page. You just gotta build it in company mode. In sandbox mode, you can just turn them on and off at will. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I think it's also it's like cause in the last update video it talked about a shorter start that is now out of the game but what we learned from that small that shorter map and east Whittier start has actually been incorporated into the full game so you are actually starting still at east Whittier, but you are able to expand to the entire map and there's there's no difference so you can expand as far or as uh, short as you want to uh, right, they're in place. Where do I need to go? I know where I need to go. Right. Did the passengers get to... Come on, oh, yeah. Let's go. Take that boat okay. anchor up. <laughs> Pull away. <laughs> Good luck. We've got to make one stop at Stetzel. <laughs> Uh, 54 miles is the entire line then for the Yes. 50, 50, 50, somewhere around that, yeah. Happy to have you guys, happy to have you. Um, one more thing, will there be ice on the rail when you slide? Not at the moment, Link, Wolf. Um, we want to look at environmental factors for the track and stuff down the road. Yep, secret man. Yep, I hear ya. Uh, sketchy, keeping with the tradition of the mogul call, eh? Ah, uh, no, nah, it was just the only thing available. He wouldn't let me buy anything. <laughs> no, you're not here, because you would show off the menu. That's not allowed. <laughs> I gotta request uh, Daddy Matt to buy me things. <laughs> um... Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a pretty good train. This uh, little thing is pretty uh, surprisingly strong. <laughs> I do like like the the variation in the colours in the cars. So, like in the middle of the the rake for the Robinsons, there's like just a, a grey car. That oh yeah, the grey big out. hoppers. Yeah, it'll that take, is cool, isn't it? It'll take four zip codes to stop that train. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> and think, I actually yeah. got to make a stop at um, what's the place? Um. Uh, Matt, look at yes. our purchase screen and name off all the wheel configurations. Uh, so we've got Mogul, count him, rather. Pacific, that's three, got 06, that's four, five, six, uh, do, 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 seven, eight. So there are nine wheel configurations currently in the game. Go. Uh, hi, are you planning on a... I have no idea what that says. Do you know what that says, Matt? Are you planning being a USD setup? You're going to have to be a bit more specific on that one, Yusuf. I'm not quite sure what, what you're on about. We want to answer your questions, just don't understand, that's all. 
Oh, there's no cars here. Oh, no wonder you got two today. Uh, okay, that makes more sense. So I'm going to uh, throw that switch. That one's okay. passenger cars. You, yes, so any freight cars you own, GWR, you can change into any colour. Um, that's the same with diesels. Steamers, that's something we would like to implement. It's just getting it sort of right in the future. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, Omega Falcon, uh, the price is $30 USD. We've had that out there for quite a while. It's just not been on the Steam page because they there are certain requirements with putting it on the Steam page before it's released, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I, I know there was a reason we couldn't put it on the uh, Steam page. Uh, I wonder when I'm going to stop this thing. Yes, Cisco, there is a Discord. It should be in the YouTube channel description. Um, there should be a link to get onto there. Um, how many diesels are there? There are two diesels in the game at the moment. Um, as as we said, the, the Steam side has been more of a focus, especially for early access to 1.0, but we'll uh, we'll see how things go. Yep, yep. All right, so the main line's going to be blocked for a couple of minutes. I gotta pull these two Stenzel cars off and drop them off. That's no problem. Uh, I'm gonna put the handbrake on on this one car. Uh, Omega Falcon. No, it's all good, dude. It's I totally get it. Um, we had it obviously on the Discord, and uh, it uh, obviously people who are not on the Discord can't see it. Leave that there while those logs finish unloading. Over there. Uh, Link Wolf, last thing you want to ask. No worries, man, it's all good. Um, breakdown where you have to rescue trains. Right now, no, there's not random breakdowns or anything like that, but it's something we definitely have talked about. Um, so no promises, but it's definitely something we've thought about. Uh, I've heard rumors we were able to customize. Yes, there is simple customization of characters right now. We want to add more to this. I just opened up the window so you can see what it looks like. Um, that's basically what it looks like. train looks long in the distance. Actually, hang on. I'm going to turn down my thing real fast because I think I'm seeing way too much. You're seeing double. Well, not double necessarily, but uh, that's better. Okay. I was wondering what happened to my frame rate, and I forgot that the settings, graphical settings, had changed recently. So me doing streaming and playing Railroader at the same time is being a little difficult for my computer, my, uh, my lovely old i7. This computer's actually almost, uh, what is it? Hang on, what year is it? 2023. Woo, oh yeah, man. Yeah, 2023. Um, so this is, this computer's going on nine years now. The only thing new in this is the graphics card. Um, uh, let's see here. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Anthony Pace, could you all add grades and speed adjustments for curves? I'm not certain what you're asking about that. I think you mean, like... So you guys know the grades and the speed uh, limits for curves. The speed limits are already in game. You can see them via the map, like here, for example. Uh, we are trying to figure out the right way to do the grade stuff. Grades are there, like the the typically. I think if you uh, a lot of the early stuff that you'll have seen from some of the content creators has been at the early part of the map, which is fairly flat. Mm -hmm. in, term, in comparison mm -hmm. to a lot of the areas but as you go further especially further west there are a lot more um uh gradients t to deal with uh, loaded cars are heavier than unloaded cars oh, if you yeah. look in the you look in the oh excuse me and if you look in the bottom left that uh, you can see how heavy a train is going to be and it does actually change so Yes, modding support is something that we would like to do. It's uh, just down the we road. need to make sure it's uh, yeah, it's down the road oh, and make yeah. sure it's right, especially for sort of the multiplayer side. It's uh, it's making mm -hmm. sure that nothing interferes on that side. So 
Yep, exactly. Will there be a character skin of Santa Claus? Uh, <laughs> I don't expect one. Um, add it to our add it to a feature idea and pop it in the uh, Discord feature ideas section. It would be uh, kind of funny to have one of those maybe as a, uh, you know, what do you call it, a meme? I'm <laughs> not hip with the kids nowadays. I'm not that old, but I'm also not hip hip. Yes, Tommy. A higher contract tier, so tier three above, you will get percentage uh, bonus based on how uh, how many days after the car arrives. Mm -hmm. So um, if you deliver it on the day, it's ten percent. Uh, it could be a, as high as ten percent, I think, on tier five. Mm -hmm. Let me just check that. Maybe. Yes. Ten yes. percent. Because the Whittier Sawmill is at ten percent. So. So how many secret locomotives are we going to see when this game releases? That's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. Uh, uh, Cisco904, uh, if you want to send me a note on Discord, we could definitely, you know, maybe see if help. You know, etc. Like we wouldn't be opposed to seeing what other people may or may not could could help us with. Um, is there or will you add sandbox? Uh, Casa, yes, there is a sandbox mode as well. We're just playing in company mode right now uh, because me and Matt are gluttons for punishment. Right, Matt? Yep, that's that sounds about right. Yes, if you actually do watch um, when you're filling up a loco, no. um, you can actually see that the the weight changing. So that is actually ah, yes. uh, yeah. it is actually modified there. Oh God, uh, where are we? Uh, do, 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 do. Will we get a heavy duty crane to reel derailed engines and cars that went down in Bankwood and stuff? Possibly can't commit to anything on, on the mow yeah. side or repair side it's again it's working out the implementations on that side of things it's something that you know we'd like to expand on but i can't give you a definitive mm -hmm. hard answer on that there is no proximity channel radios i think it's you know it's another one of those where it's would be quite funny um yeah it'd be quite cool oh yeah it'd be quite so cool, cool yeah um so it's uh, it's something to be looked at. It's it's one of those where we'd like to try and do it, but again, at the moment, it's uh, it's not top of the priority list, as it were. Yes, there's a day-night cycle. There is weather, but it doesn't have an effect, and it's not um, dynamic. You can the console commands, which is a list on the Discord, um, for changing those weather conditions. But um, if you were to just leave it, it would be typically this sort of uh, cloud coverage, as it were. It occurs to me, what is your AI doing right now? I know you have them set up. Uh, but, uh, I've only got one at the moment, and he's doing the passenger train. He's a Hemingway, so he's, he's a way away. Has he got to a Hemingway yet? Yeah. yeah, he's there now. Oh, that car's... Okay, well, I don't care about that car. Yes, so some of the loads are placeholder. Yes. Um, The primary reason we're going into early access uh, with the way things are looking right now is because we think the primary game loops are... Holy cow, is this as loud as this sounds? Hang on, let me turn this down just a little bit. That should be a little better. Okay. Um... We're going into early access because we think the primary loops are all really good and looking pretty decent, and things will change and stuff like that, of course. Um, but for the time being, that's why we're going into early access.
Do classification marker lights on the locos and caboose work? If so, how do you change them? Yes, they do. You click on them. They they spin spin round as you click on them. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, do you expect a dead Discord at release or a flood of questions have been answered a hundred times? <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh. think the Discord's going to be dead. I think it's uh, especially when the uh, the various suggestions channels open up, which will oh, be yeah. when the game releases. So, will there be engine and local over loco overheating? No, not in the release early access. Down again, it's one of those ideas. If you uh, you really want to see it, um, uh, offer a suggestion. A suggestion in our suggestion channel for ideas on the Discord. Are they going to guys going to have different maps? Nothing concrete on that, Jeremy. At the moment, we're going to focus on the current uh, map. Uh, can't say yes or no in the future. Should mod support be put in, I would imagine that there'll be uh, quite a few people modding in various bits. But again, that's not. The, that's not probably going to happen in early access. Can time be slowed down? So yes, yeah, so there are various options for the time setting uh, between 1 to 1 and 8 to 1. Uh, I've got it on the default, which is 2 to 1, which does mean that a day takes 12 hours in real time, as it were. Um, but yes, you can, edit, you can change uh, that, as it were. Um... Let's see here. Do locomotives have marker lights? They do, yes. I don't have mine turned on at the minute, but they do have marker lights. I can click on them when I'm up there next. Uh, where's that 30 mile an hour? Right there. Do you have anything coming east out of Bryson? Uh, no, not at the moment. You're the only thing out okay. there. So Once okay. we get the signals in, that'll be easier to work out. <laughs> yeah, that'll be easier uh... for me to go, hey, is there anything out there, man? Right, that get the AI to go up to a larker junction. Um, okay. Ken Boosk, what do you mean by loop? I think that was probably a term you used. Gameplay loop, I think. Oh, is what gameplay what loop. To. Oh, oh, sorry. So a gameplay loop is the primary thing that you do in the game. So basically, like... The, one of the main gameplay loops in this game is moving freight between the interchange and the customers and the customers back to the interchange when they load or unload the car, whatever the uh, thing is. Um, that's what a gameplay loop is. Um, do, 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 do. Nick B, is this the save game from yesterday? It is not. We're playing on Matt's save, uh, which is the North Springs and Western Railway. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing. What's the situation with manned helpers? Are they possibly currently? Um, yes, they, they're already in there. If you've oh, got yeah. somebody on the other end, uh, mm -hmm. you can help. If, if you check out some of the, um, pretty sure they've got them on there, some of the VRA videos, they do uh, helpers, double headers, that sort of thing, because uh, quite regularly on their... Uh, map as the full line as it were so um oh there's no there's nothing up in here oh okay well um i guess i'm gonna drop off these two cars captain crutch can ai engineers do switching right now they have what's called a yard mode and what that is is basically you have an ai engineer and you're the conductor uh we would like to see the ai expanded further into um new fields uh and depth for sure that is definitely a thing we're really interested in uh i'm gonna drop these two do you have to come west to ella for any reason uh i probably will do yeah i'm just uh okay. i'm actually up at walker just uh shunting uh shunting sorry switching um the log cars up there to bring down so i'll probably have something that'll need to come west so Oh, because the interchange is going to get served again anyway. Yes. Um, so I'm going to cut the two Ella cars. I'm going to park them in front of the um, 
the siding to go up into there. Um, okay. When you come through, stop at the station and pop up into the siding and dump those cars in. Yeah, we'll, uh, I'll do that when I head back that way. It'll be a lot easier for you to do it than for me to kick and throw all these yeah. cars. Because uh, we know how good uh, that hap worked out yesterday. Yes. <laughs> uh, I destroyed our uh, safety ra rating on the King's Colony Railway, and that's why we had to switch over to the North Springs and Western, so I can destroy its rating, too. Do locomotives always stay fight? Yes, they do at the moment, so um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they are always typically ready to go, as it were. But if they are at a, a stand, not doing anything, they won't consume. The simulation aspects is something that is... Uh, on the list of things to be looked at and revamped over the uh, over the coming periods. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, okay. Do you mean like how trains AI works, or is it more simple than that? Um, hang on. I can let me start this guy back, and then I can open that menu real quick. Um, or actually, you know what? I'll open another engines menu. That way, I don't have to impact. Oops. Impact. Uh, my uh, train. So uh, here I have the decapod currently parked in the shed. If I click the orders tab, there's two different modes. There's a road mode, which gives you this window, and then a yard mode that does this. Basically, the idea is is that in yard mode, they you basically get an AI engineer, and you have to tell them, oh, hey, you need to come ahead by 10 cars or go back by 20 cars or whatever. Um, the road mode is just go this speed limit and go that direction. Um... And that's pretty much the size of it at the minute. We really would like to see the AI system expanded to greater and deeper lengths. Eh, whatever. You know what I mean. Yeah. Are you able to change what end of locomotive the headlight is turned on? Yes. So when you press J, uh, J will start cy will cycle through dim at the front, full at the front, and then dim at the back, uh, like full this. at the back. There we go. Have a have a demonstration. Uh, Sorry, so you I can't forget that it. I'm on. I forget that I can't. You're not showing him anything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't show anything. Uh, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna leave these two here. Kind of like Second, you know, just... you know the thing that I actually I was thinking about this last night, right? Um, some one of the things that I really enjoy is like being able to go between my first person and second person, or excuse me, third person camera, the overhead camera. Um, and being able to go like, oh, hey, you know, I, you know, I'm checking my spot with the overhead camera and then, oh, I'm going to hop down, quickly put on the handbrake and cut the cars and then go mm. climb back into my engine. Um, ooh, got a little stuck there on the edge. Um, like I love being able to do that, to be able to be like, oh, I'm going to be in this person for a minute. Oh, then I'm going to go over to that person for a minute. Or it's, uh, it's camera. It gives the flex. If you wanted to play the entire game in first person as a sort of hard mode, you can do oh, yeah. that. There's nothing stopping you. So, uh, Omega Falcon um, support station channels. Uh, they'll be turned on when we go to release. How do you view your bank account? Bank account is pretty simple. It's in your finance screen. Oh, in your fine. Oh, you had a lot of you had a lot of information for my game to go. Hey. Um, yes. <laughs> wow, a hundred and forty-five thousand dollar loan. Holy crap! That's, that's my no. That's the max. So I'm no, actually I know. Four thousand, but yeah. Um, I'm just awfully impressed. But you can see your balance here. There is some discussion about how we'll further the UI and the HUD and stuff like that. So we'll have to see. And just to the 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 max value of your loan is based off the equipment that you have. Mm -hmm. So the equipment value. So the more equipment value you have, the higher the loan that you can take out. So you can, if it, the bank thinks that because you've got the assets to back it up, you can have more money. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, well, grades have realistic physics where brakes. Yeah. So if I were to say bring a car up the hill, right, and I were to bleed the brakes off that car or bottle the air or something like that, um, yeah, the cars would just they would just roll away happily if I turned off the handbrake or released the handbrake rather.
Ooh, I am super far from that car. Let's see if uh, I can do this what, blind without breaking anything. What is the key to switch between first and third person? So one on your keyboard will switch will go to first person. Two will switch you to third person. Again, there's if you're in the Discord, there's a link at the controls, but also if you go to the guide in the top. Uh guide uh, in the top. You will see a controls um section which has all of the controls in there and also a few things that adam has added recently mm -hmm. yeah exactly yeah. um so there is the the information is in the game there so yeah no we we i used to play a lot of trains nick so i i'm with quite aware of, of of what the ai in trains can do i mean in in an ideal world we'd love to to get as far as that but oh at the same yeah time, to get as sophisticated uh, as an ai as that oh that would yeah. be so cool uh but we'll but have again, to see one day at a time <laughs> that that's a lot of it's a lot of programming behind so uh, but, you know it's 30 dollars <laughs> you will find out how the buy menu hey works matt would you show us how the buy minutes. menu works yeah, you press Shift T. Oh, Shift T. All right, all right. Is it on yeah, screen yeah. right now? I can't see it. it it's it's on my screen. Right ah, now. perfect. Okay. Uh, text she text she is this like Derail Valley but more intricate? Um, I would argue it's more realistic to how railroads work versus uh, Derail Valley's contract system and stuff like that. Um. Uh. And I'm losing my train of thought for a minute. Um, the I would argue it's it's we're different games. The Real Valley is one thing. Uh, we are another, and we can't um, really compare apples to oranges. It's a little difficult. The only thing that we have in common is that we both play with trains. Uh, Anthony, hello. Yes. Yep. I saw. Yeah. I just was answering some questions. Sorry about that. If there is a document, is there a Mikado? There is a, there's the logging Mikado and there is a Mikado logging tank. So currently the only mics in the game, as it were, are logging variations. Train of thought derailed. There you go, yeah. Yeah, train of thought <laughs> derailed. Absolutely correct. Yeah. Guilty as charged. I haven't actually had ch much chance to explore Alarka since it got redone so oh you haven't the, pass the passenger trains heading up there so I'll have to uh, swing it round up there but yeah yeah Nick B the I actually saw that auto dispatcher system uh, the other day I've been meaning to um, I've been meaning to fuss around with it because I do have some um uh, a copy of Trains, the current version of Trains that has the AI dispatcher in it. I'm super interested to see how it works when it's in there its entirety because it's a really interesting system, but it's definitely... Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's definitely unique to Trains. Uh, train Z, rather. It's an interesting concept. Oh, yeah. I've oh, looked yeah. into it, but, um, which would be... If, if it works... That would be brilliant. Um, but again, I think there's, it's still sort of in some form of beta, is it, or something? Uh, I think they released the first version of it, or the part one of it, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, Socks Rocker. Is there a wheel slip? Yes, there is wheel slip in the game, but it's only... <laughs> It's, there aren't a lot of systems that work with it yet. So the primary way you're going to see wheel slip is if you're pulling heavy trains with very small engines. Oh. Yes, T minus 30, excuse me, 29 minutes until, uh, till, uh, you know, the thing. Ooh, I'm surprised this engine is pulling so nicely up this hill. I'd say it's the, 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 a little tip for everybody in here. The, the, the G25 that Connor is pulling is a very capable engine. It will, especially in, even into the mid and to the late game, with some of your, you know, decently long trains, it will do quite well. 
you can overload it, so, but on the sort of flatter sections, it'll do quite well. Mm -hmm. So it's a very good purchase to pick up. Yeah. Uh, is weather an idea on the menu? Yes, weather is an idea on the menu. I can actually change the weather already in game, but it's not like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's not a, um, uh, dynamic, that's the word. Whoa, whoa, like that, there's the fog. Um, improved my frame rate on my, uh, lovely little old i7. <laughs> did it? Yeah, it did, actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, you can go ahead and put it back, though. <laughs> nope, I can see the Governor Island side popping out in the distance. Whee! Fly up here. Governor's Island. Uh, Anthony, what was the... I missed your question. I apologize. I see you yelling my name. Um, did we sleep well last night? Matt, did you sleep well last night? Well, considering I went to bed at 2 a.m. my time and got up at 7, I'm going to say no. I I had a similar problem. I went to bed at 11, and uh, it, yeah, I woke up at 6, and I went, ah, oh, man, because I wanted to sleep for another, like, three hours. Um, is there a way to die in game? No, there is not. This is not a survival game at the minute. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe we could do, like, an RDR... Uh, <laughs> that actually would be pretty cool, like an RDR train sim. Oh god, well that's just Trans Siberian <laughs> Rails. Yeah, I, it, oh yeah, like... exactly, a hundred percent. Um, is your track system based on physics or is it a spline-based system? So it is a spline-based system. Um, it's not like Railroads Online where it's physics-based. Uh, will it be more scenic updates? Yes, absolutely. One of the main parts of our EA is to do scenery, the map, etc. How will MU work for Steam and Diesel? Steam and Diesel right now, the MU system is very simple. I just, for the lead engine, uh, or for not the lead engine, the following engine, I turn on MU and Cutout. And it, the lead engine will... It'll basically copy whatever the lead engine is doing. God. Hang on a minute. I just need to go and change some lightning. Oh, God. Hang on. All right. No worries. Yeah, just bear with me. Yep, you're good. They do that. Link Wolf, April Fool's update. We'll have to see on April Fool's, won't we? If we tell you, uh, then you wouldn't be able to uh, be surprised when we do it. Cisco 904, can we manually MU? Not like with the cables and all that jazz. Right now, it's just a... Uh, wait. I'm in one, my friend is in... Oh, yeah, you can do manual helper. Like, if you have a second player with you and you run... Um, you can run two engines at once uh, with... Um, with... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here, guys? You can run with both engines, one player and one engine. Each in one engine. Uh, Mike Burkett, I just want to blow people's ears out, but I hear what you're saying. I'll try to be better about it. They can find me if they really want to. Uh, Nate, Snake, where's the coal mine? It's at a place called Robinson Gap. If I were to scroll onto the map, it's up in this area, up here. It's up in the corner up there, isn't it? Uh, what's that? Yeah, it's up in the, the Biolocker Junction. Oh, the coal mine, yeah. I just was yeah. uh, talking to them about that. Is 
So let's go ahead and turn ourselves up into the yard here. Got a line straight in. Uh, will you make articulated the mallets? We would like to. We don't have any in the game at the moment. Of course, I was not paying attention, and I decided to stop my train. Um, I have a unique question. Signals can be upgraded for the line. Would there be a future update where you can also upgrade crossings, like add things like wigwags, lights, and bells? That would be really cool. Put that in the... I'd imagine we've talked about it. There are so many ideas that have been talked about and batted about and stuff like that, so... It's probably come up somewhere, but I would say put that in the feature idea, um, feature idea section of the um, Discord. Wow, that's the thing I was looking for. Uh, North Jersey Rail fan, yes, this is Bryson. I'm just coming into Bryson here. Um, this is the heart of the. Uh, network to the biggest facility, trackage, etc., etc. GWR, are, is there plans for AR road traffic? One of those features we would really like to do. We think it would bring a lot of life to the game, but we'll have to see how and when. Uh, Navy Shot, MU steams to diesel and vice versa. Yes, you could. It's a simple system right now, the MU system, so you could hook steams to diesel if you really wanted to. Uh, it's just meant to simplify. Steer has done it. Yeah, exactly. I, I think, think in one of his videos, it. Steer has um, had steam and diesel MU'd Is that in a train. You so. Back there? Yes. Oh, hi. Hello. Eero, as I. As I said earlier, I've not watched his stuff, so I can't really speak to it at the minute. All feedback will be listened to and looked at and talked about internally with the dev team. So I can't really say anything specific about that. Again, his opinion is at, is as important as anybody else's, and we want to listen to all feedback from every source. Especially you guys, the people who are going to be buying the game. That's three hundred dollars for some fares. Gosh, holy cow! <laughs> Let's see here. So I want to cut off to here. Are you going to a low track or a high track? Um, going up to the, the the top of the yard. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna park a string of cars in like the second track up. So yeah, two in a section. Job stopped. <laughs> Ooh, we don't need signals where we're going. Yeah, signals. Eh. Ultra Woody, will this be available to buy on Steam? Absolutely. It goes live on Steam for early access um, 20 minutes from now. Is the release regional? No, it's uh, wherever Steam does sales, I believe you can buy it. If you can buy it... Uh, um, yeah, if you can buy on Steam from your country, I would imagine that you'd be able to buy this game in early access. Robert, so are we... Oh. Uh, no, well, I don't know. If there were Easter eggs, why would I tell you there were Easter eggs? <laughs> then they wouldn't be Easter egg. Um, <laughs> it would be cheating if we told you there were Easter eggs. Yeah, because um, then there wouldn't be Easter eggs. Yeah. Uh, GWR, is there livestock to transport? No. So in the real world, in the Alarka, or excuse me, in the um, Murphy Branch, um in the area that the Murphy Branch runs through, agriculture was primarily subsistence agriculture. That means that uh, they produced their food for their use. And um, 
And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there's not a lot of agricultural shipments, like, exported agricultural shipments. It's all imported stuff. Where are you going there, buddy? There are some cars here to go back to the interchange at the, the freight house, which will... Oh, uh... yeah. Just leave up room for the ones that are to go to the break house. Might as well use this to switch while I'm here, so. EDL Railfan, are there physics similar to Run 8? There is a train physics system in here. It's constantly being looked at and worked on. Um, it's, uh, I, is it like Run 8? That's, um... Difficult to say because I'll be honest with you, it run eight. I'm a railroad employee, like that's my full time job. And like run eight, I played run eight for about fifteen minutes and went, This bothers the crap out of me. Um and it's not that it's a bad game, it's just that um <laughs> it's very extreme. Uh very extreme as a game. Uh, Eero, we're looking into that feature. I should probably put the thing on. Cisco, is there a roundhouse and turntable? Yes, there is a roundhouse. I'll fly over here and you can look at it real fast. Like this. Hello. Roundhouse and turntable. You're welcome. I'm flying away now. Um, oh, the basic differences, opinion between, say, campaign versus sandbox play and how this may affect your game. Not quite sure what you mean by that. Um, I think just the differences with, between the two is what I think he's saying. So with with company mode, as we call it, in comparison to, to campaign, um, in company mode, everything you purchase so you have to actually earn the money slowly build up with sandbox everything is open to you at once you can spawn locomotives in you can spawn cars uh, anything in there is still the contract system and everything mm -hmm. in um, sandbox mode but the entire line is open to you immediately and you can actually turn certain aspects off so you can have a sandbox save that only does say andrews to bryson you can yeah. turn off everything beyond there um so sandbox is very much you can do whatever you want in there whereas with company mode it's you are building up your your railroad again um so it looks like adam is ready to join us um i am going to disconnect my call with uh medmo real fast and we're going to reconnect with adam uh here in a moment so it's going to be quiet for a couple seconds but bear with us all right uh matt okay. i'll talk to you in just a moment yep see you shortly shaggy <laughs> shaggy that's right uh, click. And we're back. And we're back. Hello, Matt. Oh, there's another man. Good afternoon. Hey, whoa. Adam. Hello, Adam. Oh, my hot, hot mic. Uh, hot mic, is. very loud. <laughs> How about that? Is that better? Uh, very loud still. Can you turn down your thing by like half? Good thing we rehearsed this. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him. Don't tell him that. Uh, how about that? Oh, perfect. Right on the money. Okay, good. Apologies. Apologies. Ah, it's all good. All good. Welcome. Hello. Yeah. Thanks. Why? Uh, so, what are we doing today? Why'd you? Why'd you bring me here? Why? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like we brought you here against your will. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it is Adam, so, you know, it is. he's busy trying to develop a game, right? That's a thing, isn't it? Oh, that is true. Um, so, you're over at Witty, aren't you, right now? You? I am, yeah. yes. Yes. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Oh. I will. In theory. Are you gonna break, Hopefully. Are you going to break my, uh, my lovely picture I was just about to take? I can't believe you. Probably. <sighs> Is it going to spawn? So hopefully the interchange should gain some cars shortly. He says. There we go. <laughs> so, I don't know what's over there. What is over there now? Um, well, 31 cars, I can tell you that much. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, all of them. Oh my, there's even more for Whittier Sawmill. Is that's going to really? be... Wow. Yeah, there's another four. So that's Ooh. now... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's 16 cars for the sawmill um, <laughs> that's come today. So, um, But yeah, um, you could leave the ones for Whittier around there and then everything else needs, uh, needs dragging, Adam. Leave the ones for Whittier? Okay. I can do that. Are, are you, do you bring him to Bryson on this railroad? Uh, yes. Yeah, bring everything to, to Bryson, sir. I mean, we can, I can, I'm going to be sending a train back towards Ella, um, back with some of the log cars here, so. Just don't, uh, meet at Ella. Uh, there's two cars parked on the, um, on the siding, waiting to go into the, uh, farming supplies company. Uh, oh. I saw we can change company name and tags of Loco, but is there a separate text tag to give locomotives a name, or do you decide between the two what to give the locomotive? There's only one text field uh, yeah. for so a Loco. If I were to um, click in you... here... Keep talking. So, you can, as you may have seen on the saddle tank, um, and on the tenders of some of the engines, I have got the um, text on two lines using, I believe it's, I never know, it, it's like the more than and less than signs with a BR. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put a little small little guide on the Discord about how I manage that. So you can have text over, it does reduce the size of the text because it is dynamic, um, but there is only one text field to fill in. So, And of course the man, the, the myth, the legend, Adam is here, so he can always answer those questions too. Oh, yes. Yeah. The trick is I need to be paying attention. When... <laughs> uh, Link Wolf. Uh, the majority of the game is actually cars from other railroad. You can actually see there's a couple of Southern cars there, some L and N cars here, SAL, which is Seaboard. Yeah. Um, PR Pennsylvania. So. Favorite game mechanic from Binox. I'd have to think about that. Oh yeah. I can you know, I kind of kind of feel like the AI might be might be it. Uh been, bravest oops, sorry, go ahead. But yeah, it's been like kind of challenging to develop, but like when it uh when it works really well and and it does tend to do that, um it's really like gratifying, you know, to see it like, oh look at it. Look at it doing what it should. <laughs> look at yeah, look at it wandering by. <laughs> um. Was AI probably the hardest thing you've had to implement? No, I, although it it's it's up there. But I think the the toughest part for me has been the like the terrain system. Mm, okay. Because it uses shaders to run and. Uh, so there's a lot of learning there. Ah, sure, of course. Are there plans to hand enhance the other railroads cards, such as adding their emblems rather than just the reporting marks? It's a difficult area with with logos from real world companies. Um, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. can't really give you an answer on that one. I'm going to say for now it's probably a no, but again, Adam could definitely it all elaborate too. Yeah, on. On real railroads, marks. Yeah, and, and like and the logos and stuff like that. Yeah, that's one of those things I'd love to, I'd love to look into it, um, but um, don't know yet. Don't know yet. We, we got some. There's some stuff to figure out there, and and then there's also the technical aspects of, of getting the artwork, in place. Is AI controlled slash automated CTC a planned feature for when we are running a whole branch of AI trains on the line? Adam? <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't um, have come here. You, you've got to get all the questions now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a terrible mistake. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> don't look, by the way. Um, ah, I, I saw that. Where's the unhappy face? <laughs> okay, where's the... <laughs> There it is. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, classic emote. Yep. Oh, dear. 
<laughs> I've joined the game. <laughs> oh, this is why I don't multitask. Uh, uh, yeah, but for a little bit of backstory, the first, one of the first sessions I hosted during the playtest, um, there was uh, a multiple incidents of uh, my, uh, which caused my safety rating to go from a hundred percent to zero in the space of an hour of gameplay. So, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> things were learned that day. I think. <laughs> I do apologize. No, it's all right. <laughs> Uh, uh, coal mine. Is the coal mine the only mine on the map? No, it, there are two small copper mines and that coal mine. Um, Link. Uh, will there be a G high hood Jeep 9? Yeah, we have a high hood Jeep 9. And then... Will there be custom logos you can upload from your PC? Uh, no plans on that at the moment, but we definitely like to. Um, Lion, two questions. Is it planned or an idea to have an editor in the future and or mod support? Mod support is definitely something that I believe Adam wants to look at uh, in order to free up, free people to put what they want into the game. Uh, regarding the editor, I can't really say, and I don't think we've ever talked... We've talked about it, but I don't think we've ever... Go on detail, right, Adam? Yeah, let me say, like, when we talk about mod support, or when I do, I, what I'm thinking about there is the ability to add cars to the game, like add locomotives, rolling mm -hmm. stock, so forth. Um, that's definitely on our roadmap. Um, what's, what's less certain is map editing, um, because that's a whole other thing. Like, it's very, um, very complicated. So... I think if we support that, that would be a like a really significant effort to get there. It's something like, I mean, don't don't get me wrong, like I desperately want to support that, but um, yeah, the 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 demands for like tooling to build that are pretty significant. Cool. Okay, there we go. Uh, are there planned EMD or GE locomotives coming to the game? There are already two EMD locomotives. I know that it's coming out today, but do we have any time when it's available? Well, as of me reading this, it's six minutes. Yeah, it should be on Steam in about six <laughs> minutes, so don't worry. Steam be willing. <laughs> yeah. Now, don't let me forget, y'all, because I'll just be here switching this yard, and then it'll be like 2.05 or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll be like, it won't be panic. Adam, Adam, please hit the button, man. Hit the button. I had to move these cars. <laughs> The yeah, sound why was, was yelling. Why was the game delayed? Well, we were playing. Um, yeah. <laughs> what made uh, you go with a spline-based movement system rather than a pure physics-based system? Uh, good question. Um, how do I how do I want to answer that? Um, <laughs> I. <laughs> um, so the, the so there's. There's pluses and minuses both ways, right? Like uh, physics, you can have some cool things happen. Um, but also with spline, the performance is like dramatically better. You can move a whole lot more trains on splines with less CPU power than you can with physically simulating all of those. Um, so that's one part of it. The other part of it is that Oh man, don't start. Okay, sorry. I was like moving a train and then felt myself like drifting off topic. Oh no! <laughs> um, don't move the train. Okay, so so the other part of it is that um, uh, physics, like physics-based. I want to I want to make sure I'm using the right words here. Physics-based simulations of moving trains are, um, I think y'all have seen like in in maybe other games that they can be persnickety. Things can happen. Crazy things can happen. And uh, this is just me, but like I didn't want that for this game. I wanted you to be able to uh, to rely on, you know, the the, um, the trains to stay on the track and not go flying up in the air and things like that. Uh, yeah. So so that's that's the thought process there. And um, um, yeah, you know, like uh, maybe I should stop rambling, but I'll just say like. You know, I totally get there's compromises there that, um, like the, the derailments that we have are different from 
uh, games that are physically simulated. Um, and that's just a that's just a trade off for now. Maybe maybe it's something we want to look at adjusting in the future. We'll we'll just have to see how uh, like what the feedback is and 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 also like what what's what are the development implications of doing that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I saw something in here. Where did it go? Do you have your own spline system, or are you using something like uh, Sunny Machine Dolly? No, it's it's all um, all handmade. Oh, what does Shift T do? Well, I'll tell you what. You got three minutes to wait. <laughs> I like the question that somebody, I think somebody's been, because there's a lot of people that were watching the Steam DB every time, and somebody's gone, what are the main changes between 2023.1.5 and 2023.2? In fact, you will probably find out in a couple of minutes. Um, yeah. Adam has the voice of an angel, says Clinton Chives. <laughs> it's your two-minute warning, Adam. Everyone's saying two-minute warning in the chat. Okay, as of... thank you. <laughs> I cannot open... wait for shift T. Let me open the tab. Let's just fill this up. While we're here. Go ahead and head down here real fast. I'm going to hurry down to this interlocking. Oh, no, wait. I want to actually why this train. No, no, no. I don't want to why this train. I want to just have it run through. No idea for possible DLCs at the moment, uh, North Jersey. Yeah. Main focus is on just getting it into early, through early access mm -hmm. and through to the main release. Like anything after that again would probably come on some form of roadmap but we can't there's nothing in the in that at the moment we're, we're definitely not thinking that far ahead uh link wolf uh low hood not at the minute but maybe down the road we'll have to see let's see time check 159 uh, they're on 57 right now if i'm looking at my uh chat correctly so we're at 59 minutes. Oh, we're at, so it's, oh, it's, we're under a minute, I think. Everyone's now spamming 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> the Discord is exploding. Oh, I feel is it... sorry for PD and Sketchy. They're probably gonna, they're having to keep an eye on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I actually just scrolled through there and went, oh, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just gone mad. Carl is unhappy because big yeah, boy being said. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to give Carl a break, I think. At some uh, point. Um, uh, he's gonna start asking so it, for uh, it is, union it is, for his uh, bots. It is 19, 1900 my time now. Says, I see two o'clock on my time. It says please type the phrase "release my app" in the window below. Now I didn't oh. didn't type it. I copy pasted it like a good programmer. Uh, Anthony, what's up, buddy? <laughs> I see you there. I just saw you go by the screen there. It's going mad. Some people say they can't buy it. Hang on. He's just... Everybody wait. Slow down. He's got to no, press the button. He's got to type the thing. The We've hit 395 viewers. This is... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, just... all publishing tasks have been completed. I think what? that means... Somebody verify. Store page. Yeah, so... So somebody verify. <gasps> Add Someone's to cart. It's downloading. Everyone's saying it's downloading. Oh my god! They've all gone bat mental. <laughs> mental. Um, <laughs> none of us are able to post an announce. Hang on, I'll have to. Post. Oh yeah, it's quick, the, Matt. Switch screens. <laughs> I'm not gonna alt tab because yeah, hang on, I need. Oh to yeah, go. it's gonna explode the game. Shoot. Good. Good news. The event has fired in the Discord. Oh, did it? <laughs> Are I gonna have to put a slow mode on the main chat? Because <laughs> this is just <laughs> God. Hang on. Oh, there we go. It's been released to the wolves. <laughs> you can now purchase the game in early access on Steam, so go pick it oh, up. Oh yep, I'm sorry. Shift T, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Here's the list. It's official. I'm showing you the list. 
Um, does that mean I have to? Um, I'm gonna put. How much of a loan do I need to take out? Hang on. Uh, hang on. Forty-six. Twenty-one thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. Oh God! Right. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Just take some money out. <laughs> So I've opened it. Everybody it. relax. It's here. <laughs> Adam, or not Adam. Matt is trying to loan himself so much money, it's freaking out the uh, finances page. Bank is not having a good time. You still want more money? You still? <laughs> uh, shoot. Uh, oh, God. Uh, oh, my Lord. What is this game? I'm sorry, I have not heard of it. <laughs> this, this game I have not. <laughs> All right, I need to give myself two more. There we All go. All right, you need to stop pressing the loan button. <laughs> there we go. The loan is complete. Where is it? Uh, Atlantic Canuck. The reason we're using that Atlantic Locomotive Works is because it's not a trademarked or copyrighted name. Uh a lot of the, the like big railroad name or not railroad names, but maker names were often a little bit worried about putting that stuff in game because of the fact that it could be copyrighted. And we just don't want anybody to get um, on our case about it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Anthony. I don't, I, I really, I'm excited that the game's released. Uh, that was just a, a couple seconds ago. And Adam's been doing this. How long has this been going on, Adam? Um, Development-wise. Uh, three or four years, depending on how you want to count it. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. So definitely a... Uh, I mean, it definitely probably goes into high gear to a certain extent, but... Uh, um, because of all the people who are now going to have access to the game and such like that. Oh, now they're quoting. Yep, there goes the concurrent viewers. I see it plummeting off a cliff. <laughs> Downloads are completing. Yeah. <laughs> Eagle Gaming, is the early access free? No, it is not. You can buy it for $30 on Steam. Uh, Binox, how does it feel, Adam? That's a good question. <laughs> you know, I feel pretty good right now. Um... I don't know. That's a, like uh, that's such a tough question for me. Like, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I think I think it'll all sink in later. You know, right? I feel like that's an unsatisfying answer, but but I'm just <laughs> I mean, being real. Yeah, totally, man. I hear you. It's been a wild it's been a wild wild ride, and there's still quite a bit of a ride left. I think so. <laughs> Definitely rapids ahead still. Yeah, I mean we're we're entering a new a new phase where, um, you know, obviously a whole lot more people are going to be able to, to play with it. And that's going to mm -hmm. be exciting to see how, how people do that. And, um, and, you know, we're going to have, I'm sure there will be bugs to be fixed. Oh, no doubt. Sure. We'll, we'll be doing that. And, and then we've been pretty good lately, like the past couple of weeks about not doing features. Like, yes. like let's just stick yeah. to buttoning it up. Yep. And so, actually, what was the last feature we added? in? do you remember? Oh, I would need to cheat and look at my release notes. <laughs> uh, it was definitely a few weeks ago, for sure. Bear with me; I am just uh, putting all the channels uh, that can go live go live. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, Matt, you promised them a screenshot of your uh, favorite engine. Uh, I will sort that. I've taken the screenshot, but if they want to, they can go and have a look at, uh, if, if you have your camera available, it's currently now sat at the interchange. Oh, it's sat at the, ah, oh, crap. Hang on, I gotta park this train then. Okay, there we go. Hang on, I'm coming. Uh, running, 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 running. Uh, fly over here stodgy a little bit because the gates rain's loading in there it is oh look at that oh man hang on i gotta change the number on it i apologize one moment there it is the spirit of yorkshire <laughs> <laughs> 
we've got to take over. We're taking over. Hey, man, I named the other one King's Colony, so to be fair. <laughs> yep, we have it here, folks. Uh, the new Consolidation 280. Um, the C46. Uh, 46. I had to quickly check. Um, and as I said in the uh, in the Discord yesterday, this became my favorite engine as of 2 a.m. last night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that right. actually that may have been one of the most significant late additions to the game. Yeah, it was what this week, late last yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the good looking the, model. The, the pedigree of that of that uh, Elijah created that model. Um, Elijah, our very talented lead modeler, uh, who's responsible for a number of the locomotives, uh, but not all of them, and. Um, where am I going with that? But it's based on uh, 630, which is the, the Southern KS1 that uh, I always mix this up, whether it was 722 that ran on the Murphy branch or 630. But um, one of them was in was in very uh, high use here. So it, it felt fitting that, it ended that we here. have one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Um, will there be trains in the game? Absolutely. You know it, buddy. Uh, I gotta fly back to uh, the coal mine. I'm actually gonna pop out and go into the first person for a little bit. Uh, I need to put a handbrake on one of these cars. There we go. That should be everything opened up. On the, uh, it didn't take long. Yeah, I see. I There's just already. Saw, uh, I just uh, turned my head and looked at it. I just... So I now know that that's working, kind. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oops, right. No, uh, tell you what, we'll take a take a picture with that number. I'll put that in there later. Right, what was I doing? I've got everything. You were running some <laughs> stuff somewhere, right? Uh, yeah, I was sorting out the passenger train at the top of a larker. Um, ah. Yes, that's what I was doing, because it was... I was fueling that up. Oh my god, hang on. Uh, well, that's rude. Right. <laughs> okay, go. Uh, Link Wolf, will there be a DLC for World War II stuff? N I, again, there are no plans for DLC-related stuff at the minute. Um, I no promises, no plans at the minute. Oh, somebody's having an absolute fit in the Discord because of a KS1 because it's the KS1. They are oh, are very they happy? Yep. Oh yeah, yep. He is. I just, I just, I just gonna have to move my screen and just I can ignore the levels on my uh, OES for a while. Uh, Nin34, can we get a steel mill? Not on this uh, map, probably. Well, no, for sure. We're probably not going to do steel mills on this map because it's not... It wasn't prototypical to this part of the uh, uh, country in this map. Or this railroad never had one in the real world. Yeah, that's been one of the tough parts about developing this map is uh, kind of striking a balance between between prototype and you know what our research shows us was here and versus there's a little bit of you know modifications made for for the player's sake um so like like the coal mine for example uh so yeah kind of a kind of a tough balance there uh atish i'm not certain what you mean by that you'll have to give me a little bit more information there i do want to take a moment i should have prepared a statement here but i'm going to take over the mic for a second um, and I, I owe a huge thanks to, uh, to you two, Condor and Matt, uh, as well as like many other people who have been involved. Um, you know, Elijah and Kyle and Chance, and, um, I'm not gonna, I shouldn't try to list names cause it's tough to like do that you, on the you'll spot. You'll have to sneak but... out and hit the uh, credits menu. Yeah. Yeah. Just read the credit screen. <laughs> um, but like. Yeah, this has been an effort of of a whole lot of people who have who have helped um, helped me 
do this. And, um, you know, many people who have, have tested and retested and tested again and, um, you know, taking the time to make bug reports and all kinds of stuff. Um, so, like, I, I really want to thank you, you guys and all of them for, um, you know, for, for being a part of this. Thank you, Matt. Or er, Matt, Adam, there we go. Um, for that, and it's like, I, as I always have felt about it, right? Um, you have done something really special here. And I feel like there have been a number of our partners uh, among our creative, our content creators that have felt the similar way that, it, that they've been super touched with what you have made. So thank you as well for what you've done for creating Railroader and getting it to where it is today. Well, I kind, kind of you to say, um, I'm a little embarrassed right now, but, I mean, <laughs> but um, no, this is crazy. This is all very crazy. Yes, it doesn't is. feel real. And as we've said, it's only the only the beginning. It's all. It's going to be. Um, it's going to be through early access. There's still a fair bits to do. So um, glad that you'll all be here for the ride. Give us feedback. Report them bugs. Let us get them squashed out. Play your part. It's uh, it's certainly now in the community to to help us. Um, Mm -hmm. as adam said especially the shout out to the the guys in the playtest group who have um pushed the game as far as it can in a mm -hmm. lot of areas to get it to where it is today um and they've they've done a stellar job keeping trying to find every bug that we can so yep mm -hmm. it's uh it's it's with you guys as well now to uh to also help us with that so and all the channels on the Discord should now hopefully be open to for people to um, post in, like in the support station. So uh, do have a look. Yep. So if you in have there. suggestions for ideas, uh, rolling stock suggestions, um, bug reports, uh, it, what other channels? It did got? take. It didn't take long for somebody to already suggest the Shift T company. <laughs> um, you guys, I forgot something. Mm. This is embarrassing. What's that? I, f I forgot to flip the branches on the, <gasps> on oh, the bill. Oh, no. I'm fired. Oh, no. Lost in the dark. We're sorry, buddy. Um, give us <laughs> just a minute. We will sort that out. <laughs> Matt, uh, quickly post an announcement if you. Oh no, yeah, go ahead and post an announcement real fast, saying, "Hey, we know there's a small issue in the build, and we're putting the new build up right away." The wrong, the old build is live. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Oh, man. Hey man, it was the first. It's the first day jitters, man. First day jitters. Yep, there we go. Has it been flicked on now or just or uh, yeah. I'm confirming yes. Okay. Now up. <laughs> build ending in seven one one. Which I think just to double check my own build real fast. Uh hmm. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Sorry, I stopped looking for a second. Um, release. <laughs> How does one change the whistles? If you hold control and then click on any of your locomotives, if you go to the equipment tab, there's a button that says customize. And then right there is your whistle drop down on the right. All right. Awesome. Good to hear, cats. Uh, Brandon, do you have to hold right mouse button to shift your camera? Um, you can move your camera like solidly with the WASD, and then to shift your view to look around is right mouse button. If you have a different idea for how that should work, put it in the feature ideas uh, thing in our Discord. Oh, this is exciting. 
we, Adam, I was just coming here to bring it up. We all make mistakes in the heat of passion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, true, Mark. We'll go with that, shall we? Mm. Uh, while the railway match up, there is no voice channel in the Railroad to Discord server. At the, um, it's I, full disclosure, probably not for the time being, just for the moderation aspects of it. But if you look in the Railroad uh, recruitment um, section, you can you will find people who will be posting, uh, who've posted their saves. So if you want to get involved with people, uh, that's probably the best way of doing that. Uh, let's see here. Brandon, uh, in first person, yeah, it's the same thing. In order to look around, you hold, or to shift your camera around, it's, uh, right mouse button. It's not like DCS and stuff like that where you can right click, ha move your camera around, then right click again to unlock your, uh, mouse. Uh, there was one other hint. I'm sorry about that, Anthony. Um, it'll be there, uh, and who knows, maybe it'll be, could be, uh, one step better tomorrow. Uh, Link Wolf, will there be wild animals in the forest, and can you run over players in game? I, as much as I want to say you can't, you probably could put your avatar in the tracks and do whatever. Um, it's not going to do anything um, other than your character. Probably, Adam, your avatar just gets shoved aside, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are impervious to to the, to the the final demise. You are Iron Man. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Without the damage of the engines. <laughs> Maybe it could so, be a sport. See how long you can ride on the on the uh, cow catcher, so to speak. Yeah, there you go. Right. Long, long, longest distance. There you go. <laughs> Get scooped and uh, see how far you can go. Um... Uh, switching over to another monitor real fast to look at something. Chris T. Oh, <laughs> oh I have a bunch of people sending me notes about the credits. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you, you put me in here. I, that's so nice of you. <laughs> well, it was a last minute decision. Yeah. <laughs> Credit where it's credits due, right? <laughs> um, is there anything running between Alarka Junction and um, Bryson? Uh, no, there, uh, no, there isn't. There's the passenger train coming down to Alarka Junction, so you should be seeing that arriving just about now. Oh yeah, there he races through the uh, the interlocking ahead of me. Yep. That's actually kind of a cool. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> it's actually... Uh, don't let him go. Messages. Oh my god. What? Where am I getting? What's happening? <laughs> you okay there? Discord, my Discord's going mental. Hang on. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Sorted. Can't believe I set the wrong branch. Oh, nope. man, Adam. We're going to remember this. You uh, know that, right? Yeah. Well, we've got... <sighs> we've got... I'm glad I've put an hour on the uh, slow mode on the rolling stock suggestions now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet you there's a bunch of people going, what the hell, man? <laughs> I want to I wanna have all the engines, every single one of them. <laughs> uh, come on. I just need to uh, edit that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. God, hold on. I love that the creator content was, or the creator comms were like, hey, FYI. <laughs> Something looks a little funky. Uh, Link Wolf, will there be engine fires? Like if you put 
hang on. If you there is too much of a train to pull, and you pull, put the engine at full speed and it starts to fire. No, not it. There is n nothing like that in game at the minute. Uh, Anthony, I unfortunately cannot, my friend. I uh, have a full time job outside of doing railroader stuff that I have to go to, and then I also have life. <laughs> Uh, so what I'm is sorry. Life? Yeah, what is life? It's called my job. It's cool. uh, question, not sure if it gets answered, but when you get a diesel engine, how is it refueled? Um, so, Lord Harlow, there is milestones that my game appears to be very upset suddenly about me. Oh, it's the finance window. I had it open. Sorry. Ah, uh, Matt. People have now spotted Little River. Uh, like, this is a diesel fueling stand. You have to build diesel fueling stands in company mode. Um, that is how to do that. Uh, get diesel fueling stands. Your locomotives will come with some fuel, so it'll... Um, uh, it'll be able to survive for a little while, but you do need to get a diesel fueling stand. Uh, where are you, Bubby? There you are. Bubby, where do I go to make a server private? If you go to settings... Oh, crud, I don't have it. Um, Matt, make me a president real fast. Uh, yes, hold on. Uh, <laughs> you, are, you are not taking over my company, damn it. Faster, faster. Um, <laughs> uh, it's not, I actually can't show it, unfortunately. Otherwise, it would be in this access control section. In this window over here, there would be a thing you could click. If you go to the Discord, underneath, um, tutorials and documentation, there's an MP... Um, what is it called? How to create your railroad in multiplayer. Uh, there's actually a window that shows you the spot in question. Essentially, you have a couple couple different options. You can you can choose whether to allow new players or not, and that's kind of universal. Um, the game remembers players, so as long as you don't delete their record. It will remember like who they were um, and what their what their role is, like what their access level is in the game. And then you can also set a password uh, to uh, control whether new players can join the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you kind of depending on you know how you want to run your server, you have a few different options there. There is a speed limit in here somewhere. Oh, there it's down there. Oh, I'm going to try and keep working out what I was doing here. Uh, <laughs> right, so... <laughs> Over there. Uh, that looks like a thing there. Oops, it'll fast past this 25 mile an hour sign. Right, uh, okay. So that. Right. Mm -hmm. Do -do. Right, so hopefully that should get that on the move. Uh, Captain Keen, inside cab sounds. Uh, all the sounds are going to be looked at in more detail. Right now, there is not... I don't think there is, right, Adam? That there's not a lot of, like, doors closing sound when you hit, like, the doors in the engines or cabs? Right. There, Yeah, there are not yet sounds on that. I would like to add... Uh, get that fleshed out, but... Yeah. Is there a way to toggle when instead of holding shift? Uh... No, it's it's holding shift at the moment, but we can have a look into that. Yeah, one yes. of the items on our list is is key bindings, uh, being able to configure those. And it's, yeah, not there yet. Is that a switchback? I suppose it will go up to the hill. Yes, the Walker login branch is a switchback. 
there's there's two layers. There's a there's an upper upper layer and a lower layer that you that has connected by the switchback. Extra ten west is departing Whittier. Okie doke. I I heard ten west departing blank, and my brain went, "Oh God, he's going to say Bryson." Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> But you said the siding at, at Ella is occupied? Uh, yeah, the siding at Ella is occupied with a pair of cars. Okay. Uh, Link Wolf, can you destroy the world at all? No, unfortunately. Oh boy, that's an interesting issue. But it's showing real. Mm. Anyway, I'm trying to multitask everything at the moment. Yeah, sorry for being quiet for a minute. Uh, I am reading some bug reports uh, for a person who has an issue with Valve. Uh, it looks like that there's a license issue with Valve. so much happening uh <laughs> keep on top of things uh hi diesel good to see you uh anthony buddy i don't know um i'll be honest with you i'm not a huge multiplayer player multiplayer player um i usually just you know do stuff um i usually just do stuff on single player uh the only reason we're playing multiplayer right now is uh, obviously, we're doing it for stream for the next, you know, half an hour or so. Uh, Rayon, Ray Ron, rather, VR, is the dispatch board on in your gameplay? Can we see it? Matt, have you done any of the CTC stuff? Uh, it, the CTC milestone is actually, they just delivered the cars to it. So oh, okay. So not yet. Uh, not yet, but... Um... Hopefully before the end. Um, fire train. It's always nice to see a railroad, especially with the stigma. You know, I'll be funny. I'll be honest. Like a majority of my coworkers, and I, I work full time for a railroad company, and it's like most of my coworkers might make fun of me about it, but a lot of them think it's actually pretty cool that, um, that uh, this is what I'm doing as a second job or a hobby. Probably should have mentioned I'm coming into Bryson on the west end. Unknowing how many or who is in here. Uh, It's just me in the yard at the moment, so... Uh, do we have this link anywhere? Uh, I gotta find a thing. Holy cow, that's a lot of chatting. Uh, there we go. Can I copy this link somewhere? Copy video URL, that's what I was looking for. Right. Uh, luckily, James is, uh, is talk talking to some people. Sorting out some of the, the more, like keyboard box uh, shout out to James for uh, one of the play testers is trying to help where he can in some areas oh sweet yeah thank you James yeah thank you James uh, oops, wrong window where did the live stream go there it is 
Um, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Anthony, no, man, you're just you're young. I get it, buddy. It's um, no worries at all. Uh, Diesel, nice, great to hear. Um, John, I work for the state of Massachusetts uh, as a contractor to the MBTA. We operate the state's owned. The state owns a bunch of railroad out here, and we basically dispatch all that railroad. Matt, what do you do for a living? Um, ah, hang on, sorry. No, you're fine. I see you doing stuff um, way over there. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, I'm a train driver for a passenger co talk here in the in the UK. So, um, back at work Saturday. So. Ah, nice. I would ask what Adam does, but we know what he does. Nothing but <laughs> railroader all the time. Not strictly true. <laughs> Software developer. Ah, there we go. Outside of railroader, you mean? Yes. Yes. And inside. Very true, yeah. Uh, I guess I will take... What do you got down there, my friend? Uh... Uh, I, this is stuff for this area. So, as I say, that is the, uh, that stuff to go back towards the sawmill and the interchange. Very good. I will um, move these cars down to the... Do you, want it, do you want me to run these cars down to Appalachian Hardwood, or do you want me to just grab the interchange cars and run? Uh, grab the interchange cars and run. Okay, cool. um, uh, I will do that. I'll go Thank you for uh, attaching a caboose. Very kind of you. No worries. Uh, Link Wolf, I have to ask, is Railroads on Ri Online a rival game? No. So <laughs> I, I've i said this before, and I feel like it's a really good way to put it. I would argue that the other train games and us were all apples to oranges with one another. Um, they We all do something different. The main thing that makes us... Um, the same is that we're all playing with trains. We're all model railroads of some kind because of the fact that a simulation in itself is a model of uh, the real world, right? Um, basically, the... Basically, the... Um, unless you're sitting in a locomotive, unless you're throwing switches in a yard in the real world, you're playing with a model of something, right? Um, it's all a simulation. And so that's what makes us all the same, right? We're all simulations of these things that we want to try and represent, and ours is just one representation of it. So thusly, apples to oranges with one another because the similarities are just the trains. Yeah, I, I think I think of it as like it's kind of a question of like just what style of game are you looking for? Like railroader handles uh, freight traffic in a very different way from railroads online and uh, and Dero Valley too, and all the others. So it's, it's just a question of um, of of play style and and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and preferences. I'm sure there'll be some people who like some days they want to play railroad or some days they want to play, you know, whatever other game. Yeah, exactly. This license issue is super interesting. Yeah, I think they may need to contact Valve about that. I'm, I'm trying to search for information on it, and 
Nothing. Oh, thank goodness you uh, didn't have that switch open. Um, Metro Rail Diesel, uh, I appreciate it very much. Um, it's definitely not uh, my game. It's uh, Adam's game for sure. We're just all helping him with it. Um, can you get... Link Wolf, no. Uh, can't get sick in the game. Um, Caboose Productions. Anthony... I actually, it's funny. I uh, I do sometimes get anxiety every once in a while. I had a lot of anxiety opening up this stream this afternoon. <laughs> oh, you know what I've done? Crap, Matt. But <laughs> I need a rescue. What have you done? I've run dry. Uh. <laughs> I right. am shocked like... that I didn't have that much water. Matt's Risky. like, why do I let people Risky. join the game? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I play single player. This is why... uh, actually, what's available? What's available right now? I got that little tanker sitting there. You're racing out with that one. Okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. No worries. Um, great. This is fun. Sorry, everybody. I screwed up. <sighs> See, it's all live. We all make mistakes, guys. Uh, Floofy HD, quick question. Are you planning to make an official community? And if so, are you planning to make it accessible to players? I am I think you mean like an official game or like a server? Um, if so, no, not at the moment. Uh... Metro Rail, it's um, four. This one is engine number four. I think I can hear Matt racing toward me in the distance. Wait, the, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> Nerd in there in a minute. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm fired. I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, fortunately, it's just a game, you know. Uh, mistakes like this can be costly, but, you know, unfortunately right now it doesn't really cost us nothing. Uh, it sounds like, and I'm going to pass this along because someone just sent me a note about it. Uh, it looks like there's a bunch of games that are open to public if folks want to join games. Um, I'm seeing a number of possible games that are um, currently open, if I'm scrolling down this list here. Uh, so yeah, lots of opportunity to find games to play with right now. Where are you? I thought you'd be racing to rescue me. Sorry, I, there's <laughs> many messages flying everywhere. Uh, he, I, I'll take control if you really want me to. <laughs> Yeah, if you could do that. Uh, All right, I'll come grab this engine real fast. Uh, reverse full throttle. Uh, who's going to be our savior? Number three, the little 060. Oh, the little 060, eh? Does it have a full tank of water? Good, I can't screw this one up. Uh, Link Wolf. Uh, ooh, I'm, I keep clicking messages here, and I can't see. What did you say an hour ago, buddy? I did not catch it, or at least I don't remember it. There's been a lot of conversation in this stream. Have I seen the Brave Locomotive? Yes, it's a very cool animation that came out not too long ago. Very, very cool. Fortunately, we weren't too far. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, did you do it again? <laughs> no, this time was Medmo. <laughs> no, no, that was me. That was me this time. Oh, I'm happy oh, Adam was the one who went, Oh, <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, coming in a little hot. Release. Roll into it. Ah, oh, perfect. Uh, then I got to switch to this. Oh, where am I? Oh, whoops. Oh, I see where I am. Okay. So I'm going to fly over here. Cool thing that you can do is if you're in your flying camera, you actually can stick your head in and still play with controls and stuff like that if you need to. So you don't have to go hunt for your character and... Uh... Oop, I want to go forward, not backward. Uh, Matt, you may want to snap a picture of that coal conveyor or the location of it, maybe. Yeah, hold on. I don't think there's going to be enough length here. Slide over, slide over, throw this. Oh, shoot. Am I going to have to run around this thing? Ah, uh, of course. Da, 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 da. Just send that. Where did that picture go? Oh, it's. <laughs> that's probably why. Uh, that's not that. It's. Is it that? No. Is it that? Okay. Holy smokes! Current players, does anybody want to take an over under? No idea. Nope. <laughs> oh, come on. Not even going to try a little bit? <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Be that way. 1,000. <laughs> the answer to that question was 1,000 players. Wow. No words. No words. Yeah, okay. I was I was like, gas got awfully quiet very quickly. <laughs> so embarrassed and taking this engine home. It's like, you know, uh, so embarrassed. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Link Wolf. Oh, okay. Rescue trains. I see. I'm sorry. Well, I'm actually rescuing a train right now. Um, have a good night, uh, Link. Uh, Floofy HD, yes, it was very funny. Uh, I think that's all I got. Okay, cool. Trying to respond to everything going on. Oh, 10 is uh, westbound coming up on Governor's Island. Okay. Very good. Uh, you'll have to come into the number two track at um, uh, Bryson. Uh, I think you mean shot, by the way, Medmo. Yep. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Nothing to see there. 
it's, try, it's great that try I've, having I've them learned... try setting uh never mind i got it oh you replied to that yeah 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 sorry there's a lot going on at the moment guys so we'll uh we'll just <laughs> yeah bear with us we're doing a lot of um yeah doing a lot of uh bug reports <laughs> oh it worked oh well good that was easy <laughs> well, we've, that's one down um Ooh, man I, i'd be grinding the brakes on this poor engine um sorry to bother you but i had a quick follow-up on the diesel fueling station milestone when that is completed will that only build one or it add multiple each one right now is a single milestone uh so the answer to that would be um one at a time that's right, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah, okay. It's. I have not, I'll be honest with you, I have not tested those milestones pretty deeply in a while. Um, and of course, I'm trying to talk to the Discord chat, uh, but that's not going to help <laughs> anything. Or shift click, not control click. Whoa, that's a squeaky whistle. Oh, there's a column down here. Blast! <laughs> oh, well, I need to probably do it this way anyway. All right, next I need to move this guy out of the way. <laughs> He's very tired, this lovely little 10-wheeler. Engine number one. He's done a lot of work. Uh, uh, do you like tea and crumpets, uh, Matt? Yes. yes. Can't get enough of tea. It's got to be Yorkshire tea, though. Oh, so you're a spiffy type guy, eh? I, I was drinking Yorkshire tea before he was born. <gasps> oh, damn. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Let's move. I need to move that down there. I have not had this many Discord, like... Uh discord messages in like years <laughs> i yeah i'm uh i'm like this. what was oh i'm an idiot holy cow <laughs> replying, replying to a message and then a, i uh, will have to talk about this later like when we go off stream here in a little bit but um Wow, I uh, am a little surprised that uh, my over-under uh, thing I was talking about earlier. <laughs> hmm. I, uh, I'm really stunned. Uh, captivated would be the best term for it. <laughs> you, that I haven't derailed a car and <laughs> oh, a whole hour now yeah that's that's the first thing yeah exactly you you had that one that one your you know your uh cop out for the hour and you've done well since then i'm very impressed didn't have my headlight on it was Aww. outrageous well it's the daytime i think in southern's rule book you actually could do that yeah, I think you're right, and that really deeply disappoints me about Southern. <laughs> <laughs> it was a different time. <laughs> it was a different time, yeah. <laughs> Those filaments cost money. That's, yeah, filaments cost money, and who needs light? You should know this route better than anything else. Isn't it true, Matt, actually? Speak of the devil. Um... 
Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I looked around my monitor at the chat. Um, <laughs> nope, not three. There we go, two. Um, the... They, during the war, during the Second World War, like, you guys, um, you guys ran, like, 100% dark, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, it, it caused some incidents, but yeah, it was, the, everything was boarded up around the cabs to prevent uh, the, the light Spillage. from the, uh, the firebox coming out and everything, so yeah. Overshot. I'm going to delete that. Yeah, it's pretty close. Okay. Uh, EDL rail fan, is it possible to have eastbound facing engines? Absolutely. You run your railroad your way. Um, I think just most of the engines, since they're coming from Whittier, are faced in the west direction. But you can turn them on turntables. You can turn them on, like, a Y, like we see here at Whittier. Um, where are you going to be heading to, Adam? I can see you passing through. Yeah, I was going to drop. Uh, I've got a few here for Appalachian Hardwoods. Okay. I was going to drop those in the yard. Cool. But uh, I guess beyond that, it's up to Matt. <laughs> Bomberman Gaming, devs, where is the keybinds? Uh, so if you watch real fast, uh, in the top right of your screen, there is a guide. You click the guide, and then there's a bunch of options. You click controls, and that's got all of our controls in it. All right, there we go. Lovely decapod passing through. What do you got? Oh, another cut for Robinson Gap. Uh, Blue Lion, Connor. We got the King's Railway. What about the Thirteen Colonies Road? That's that's a pretty good choice. That's a pretty good name. I'll have to uh, borrow that. Oh, it was a gamepad. Okay, there we go. Yeah. What was the <laughs> what was the gamepad? The, so so if you're watching now make sure you do if you don't have a gamepad connected uh, when you're playing it can make the camera stick so um, disconnect your game pads on that one well, or, or make sure that and I'm not uh, very good on game pads but I think depending on how they're calibrated it it might resolve that issue. But yeah, one of the one of the players was having uh, the camera was drifting because the gamepad was generating forward input. I'd also um, say uh, if you are having some bugs, especially some visual stuff, try doing the Steam's verify integrity of the game cache first, mm -hmm. just to see if anything happens. Um, if it continues to be a problem, um, put in stuff in the in the bug report section on the Discord. We will work through and have a look at as much as humanly possible. <laughs> yep. 100%. Where? Oh, you're still over there. Uh, cool. Oh, cool. My first closed report. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh, interesting. Keep up with the What an odd bug. You saw that knuckler one or knuckle one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's awfully interesting. Although I'm surprised how uh, smooth it's going right now, considering we have a thousand and fifteen players playing currently. <laughs> Um, Vlaxi, realistic steam engine sim mode with full controls and damage model like the smokes box stuff for railworks, or is it all or is it and always be more like railroads online? We've not made a final decision on 
exactly where the stuff is going to go to from here. But currently, it is a more simple, uh, a more basic simulation in the cab. So, like, you do the controlling and stuff like that, but there isn't, like, a fireman and stuff like that. got some we got a lot of movement going on around here yeah there's three jobs moving all at the same time oh that that is actually almost that almost made me a little ill trying to look at that um my train was starting to slow and the other one is moving faster past it <laughs> Uh, Anthony, I will try doing that later. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, well over 50. Yes, the game can be played online, offline, however line you do. <laughs> uh, Brandon, how to report bugs. Our Discord is going to be the best place or, um, yeah, pretty much that's going to be the best place. Yep. 100%. Uh, you're going to go into the yard fully, right, Adam? Yeah, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to slip gonna... by real fast. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful uh, meat there, gentlemen. Beautiful meat. <laughs> Oops. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> I always thought it was the save, but... Mm. Yeah, there's an occasional bug where the terrain system... It's been one of those things where it's like there's just other things to look into, but there's an occasional bug where the terrain system will fail to load one of the tiles and it will just not not succeed to load it um, after that. And so, yeah, the, the quick fix is just to exit the game and come back in. All right, let's try this again with a full tank of water. Zeb B, can you make new rails? N not like you can in like Railroads Online, but you can unlock sections of the map using your milestones menu, which allows you to um, which allows you to, uh, you know, do stuff. Uh, open up more of the map. That's what I was looking for there. So here in a little bit, uh, I think that we're all going to drop off and start focusing on um, focusing <laughs> on your guys' reports and stuff like that. So let's um, – what are you guys up to? Are you coming to a stop? Are you at a stop? Uh, nearly at a stop, yeah. We are just at Bryson at the moment. I think 
there's a bit of shunting happening. Sorry, switching. Um, keep dropping into British. <laughs> I will set my engine to AI so it doesn't surprise you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing because, like, I th Matt, is that you and the. Uh, the it is. Thing? Yeah. We're like creeping in on each other, like yeah, okay. like who's gonna stop first? <laughs> <laughs> you're looking at, you're both looking at each other, like who's gonna who who you? No me? No you? I'm using the AI to do this, but okay, it's like very cautiously. Uh... Well, um, I think we'll probably end it here for the time being. Um, thank you all for joining us for our for this little release stream, and uh, we look forward to seeing you all out on the rails. Uh, have a good rest of the day, and uh, I guess good night. Yeah, yeah, good night, everyone. We'll see. You, probably see you around on the Discord. Thank you so much, everybody. Look forward to seeing what you're doing with the game. Bye. Bye. Right, bye. See you later.